Welcome back to huge breaking news from Everton. They have their new manager. Straight back to Vinny O'Connor. Vinny. Yes, Rafa Benitez has been appointed the new manager of Everton Football Club. In a statement, Everton confirmed that he joins on a three-year deal and will commence work with the squad when they return to Finch Farm for pre-season training on the 5th of July. They go on to say the appointment of Benitez comes after a robust and wide-reaching recruitment process by the club over the last three weeks, a process which has included multiple interviews with several candidates. Benitez has a hugely impressive track record with the clubs he has managed throughout his career, securing seven major honours, including La Liga titles, the Coppa Italia, the FA Cup, the Europa League and the Champions League during managerial spells in Spain, England and Italy. The club's majority shareholder, Farhad Mashiri, said Rafa impressed us greatly with his knowledge and experience, but above all, the passion and hunger he showed to join our club. We are appointing Rafa because we believe he will bring success to our club and to Evertonians. To put it simply, we need to be competing at the top end of the league and to be winning trophies. Rafa is a proven winner with huge experience in coaching internationally and we have secured the best man to achieve that for us. Rafa Benitez himself said, I'm delighted to be joining Everton. Throughout this process, I've been greatly impressed by the ambition shown by the senior representatives at the club and their desire to bring success to this historic club. I believe this is a club that is going places. I'm determined to play a big part in helping this great club achieve its ambitions. And Everton chairman Bill Kenwright added, Rafa Benitez is joining Everton Football Club at an exciting time. On behalf of the board of directors, I wish him well in achieving success for our football club, success our supporters long for and success our supporters deserve. Everton will also confirm who will join Duncan Ferguson and Alan Kelly as part of Benitez's backroom team in the coming days. But confirmation finally from Everton Football Club that, as you say, Jules, they have got their man and that indeed Rafa Benitez is the successor to Carlo Ancelotti on a three-year deal. And whenever a manager gets appointed, we always ask, well, how will this go down with the fans? We've had a couple of weeks to get an idea of how this will go down with a lot of the Everton fans. We've seen it on social media, Vinny. We've seen the signs as well, of course. I mean, now it's been confirmed. What do you think the reaction will be like from the Evertonians? I think it's going to remain as it's been over the last few weeks, Jules. It, it has been divided. There will be those, and we've seen that there are those Evertonians who want to give uh, Rafa Benitez all the support that they can. We, we saw banners outside the whole Holy Trinity statue on Goodison Road a couple of days ago posted on social media saying, welcome, Rafa, from true Evertonians. At the same time, of course, there have been banners uh, voicing their discontent at the potential appointment as it was then of Rafa Benitez. We saw a threatening banner left in the road of Rafa Benitez as well, which Merseyside police are investigating. We've seen reactions today from fans as well driving past who have used a little bit of colourful language at times when they start to voice their discontent at uh, Benitez's appointment. However, as it says in that statement, he does have a proven track record. Uh, it, it puts immense pressure on him, given some of the feeling, given the fact that he's ingrained in the history of Liverpool Football Club, given that he said in the past he wanted to go back and manage Liverpool Football Club, given that he's also described Everton as a small club in the past as well. It puts pressure on him to get results right from the start, but he believes that he can get those results, that he can get the fans backing behind him. He obviously has the backing of Farhad Mashiri. It is, in many ways, a bit of a gamble from Everton's owner, but again, he says in that... In that statement today, just what a track record Rafael Benitez has got. If he's able to deliver results, if he's able to deliver the kind of football Evertonians want, and if he's able to deliver trophies, then you will unite the fan base behind you. No worries about that. Uh, a side that spent, a club that spent a lot of money in recent years trying to climb the table, a, a club that was rocked by the sudden departure of Ancelotti. Now Benitez is in the door with uh, a month or so to go till the new season starts. Vinny, what do you think will be Benitez's main priorities now? He's started with it today, hasn't he? He needed to sort out the future of Duncan Ferguson. And obviously, from that statement, we understand that Duncan Ferguson is going to be part of his backroom staff. Quite what that role is yet, we will wait to, to find out. On top of that, he needs to establish a working relationship with the director of football, Marcel Brands, because recruitment is key to this football club now and key to Benitez getting the flying start that he, he really needs to ease the kind of pressure and any kind of discontent amongst the fan base. We know that Carlo Ancelotti wanted to bring in a right back. He wanted to bring in an attacking wide player. Player. I would argue that you probably need to supplement that attacking line as well with a central attacker. You probably need to su supplement the midfield with a little bit more dynamism within that engine room as well. And arguably, you could probably do with reinforcements at centre-half as well. As I say, recruitment key has not been 
as it could be, let's say, over the past few years at Everton Football Club, which is why they have struggled and why they struggled towards the back end of last season in terms of uh, maintaining that challenge for Europe. First and foremost, Benitez needs to create a squad that is capable of challenging for Europe, capable of challenging for trophies, gets that recruitment right, gets the results right at the start of the season, and then it gives him a fighting chance of delivering the success that, it, that Evertonians want and that he obviously wants to deliver here. And success that the owner, um, Farhad Mashiri, craves as well. He's ploughed a lot of financial support into the club with very little um, reaping of rewards so far, Vinny. But the fact that he was determined to pursue with the recruitment of Rafa Benitez, despite all the protestations from some fans, what does that say about the man leading Everton at the moment? I think we've seen it already, Jules, as well, how single-minded he is when it comes to trying to build this football club and trying to build a foundation for success. He's been there with the money when re required. Uh, look at the ambition of the football club in terms of the potential move to Bramley Moore Dock as well. I mean, that is a game-changer for Everton as a whole, and it shows the ambition, the level of ambition that this football club has. And now we've seen Farhad Mashiri single-minded once again in his appointment of Rafa Benitez. He looks at his track record. We know that, obviously, you look at uh, Benitez and the fact that he's managed uh, the biggest, uh, one of the biggest clubs in the world in, in Real Madrid. He's obviously managed Liverpool, which obviously is a bone of contention with uh, certain elements of the Everton fan base. But he has delivered success in his career. He's delivered major, major trophies. And now... Farhad Mashiri believes that to succeed Carlo Ancelotti, as Benitez did uh, at Real Madrid six years ago, that he has got another world-class manager. And now he's going to go with that vision, that belief that he has, that Benitez is the man to take this club forward now and deliver the success that the owner believes uh, this football club deserves and that, that uh, obviously the input that he's had, he, he wants to deliver now. Let's just finish, Vinny, with, with a look at it from the other side of the, the Merseyside fence and the Liverpool angle of this. It is over a decade ago since he left there, but six years as the Liverpool manager, loved by their fans, delivered great success to them. How will the, the Liverpool fans be taking this now? Uh, does this sour their relationship at all, despite all the water that's gone under the bridge since? I think with, with some, it, 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 it may do. Uh, but... Speaking to Liverpool fans around the city, it, it's not really been like that. They're, they're happy for Rafa Benitez to take whatever opportunity comes his way, even if it means him managing Everton. There will be enormous respect, not only for what he achieved on the pitch, and we go back to what a famous night it was in, in 2005 when Liverpool won the Champions League trophy, probably one of the, the most exciting Champions League finals uh, in, in Champions League history, but, but also the fact that Rafa Benitez and his wife have done such great charity work across the city and, and most important, which will resonate with not just uh, Liverpool fans but Evertonians as well, uh, the, the work that he did and the money he donated to, to the Hillsborough families as well. So there'll be, there is great respect still from the red half of Merseyside and as I say, the general consensus it seems is that they're uh, maybe begrudgingly in, in some aspects but they're, they're almost... Happy that for Rafa Benitez to take what opportunity has come his way. And now he's obviously decided that Everton is the right opportunity for himself. As I say, he's got his home on the Wirral. It's a, what, 30 to 40 minute drive into Everton's Finch Farm. Uh, and this is the, the kind of opportunity that Rafa Benitez was more than up for. Vinny O'Connor live at uh, Finch Farm. Thanks very much indeed. Well, whatever happens with Rafa Benitez, it's going to be a fascinating uh, time and months ahead uh, at Everton to see how he gets on. And he, of course, has a lengthy history in English football. Uh, he first arrived to manage in the Premier League some 17 years ago. He was appointed the Liverpool manager in the summer of 2004 after winning La Liga and the UEFA Cup with Valencia in his final season there. You have to, to look for more possibilities for another titles another challenge, then I think that Liverpool is uh, in the perfect club. Yeah, and it proved to be the perfect fit in his first season in charge. Benitez won the Champions League after that dramatic night in Istanbul. We are really proud uh, for the players and the supporters. I think we have the best supporters in the world. In the 2008-09 season, Liverpool uh, ran eventual winners. Manchester United close for the title. They missed out in the end by four points. And it was a season which included his now infamous facts news conference. I don't want to play mine games too early. I think that they want to start. So I was taking some facts. I am not playing mine games. I am talking about facts. I am talking about facts. I am not talking about my impression. Things that everybody can see every single week. 
Benitez eventually left Liverpool in 2010 after six years at Anfield. He departed having won a Champions League, the FA Cup, Community Shield and a Super Cup too. After a short spell in charge at Inter Milan, Benitez was then appointed the interim manager at Chelsea in December 2012. And in his short spell at Stamford Bridge, he won the Europa League, winning over some fans who'd initially been against him taking charge. Further spells abroad then followed at Napoli, where he won the Coppa Italia, and it's in Spain with the mighty Real Madrid, before he then returned to England to take over at Newcastle. And after initial relegation there, Newcastle were promoted back to the Premier League at the first attempt. Benitez left St James's Park in the summer of 2019, and he's since had a spell managing Dalian Professional in the Chinese Super League. But now he is back in England and in the Premier League. This is his record at each of the three clubs he's managed in the top flight in England. He managed 228 league games at Liverpool, 26 at Chelsea, 86 at Newcastle. Uh, he won 126 games at Liverpool, 15 at Chelsea and 27 from those 86 at Newcastle. 55 draws with Liverpool, 6 at Chelsea and 21 at Newcastle. In terms of uh, defeats, uh, 47 at Liverpool, 5 at Chelsea and 28 during his time in the North East, leaving him with a points per game record of 1.9 at Everton's City rivals, at 2 at Chelsea, much lower at Newcastle though, 1.2 points per game with them. Well, Benitez lies sixth in the list of most games managed at Liverpool. He took charge of 350 in total, that's currently at 32 more than Jurgen Klopp. Bill Shankly uh, out in front with that incredible total of 783 games. Well, the former Everton captain Phil Jagielka believes it is a controversial appointment due to Benitez's time with Liverpool. Uh, Jagielka, who spent 12 years at Everton, understands that some fans won't be happy. It's a tough one. You know, the, the whole Premier League and the way the managerial roundabout's going at the moment, it seems that everyone's going for certain jobs and no one ends up taking anything. And there comes a time now the season's not too far away. The, the hierarchy at Everton have decided to, to go with Rafa. It is a controversial decision, to say the least. Uh, if we take away what club he used to manage and, and that sort of side of history, as, as a coach and a manager, he's, he's performed at the top level. So they are getting a very competent man in. The only issue is uh, there will be elements and, and certain parts of the, the Evertonian family that won't be happy seeing him in the dugout. But you know, if he gets the, a good start and the, and the right results, they will get behind him because that's the sort of uh, club Everton is. But... Um, you know, he, he will need to get off to a pretty fast start and and make maybe a couple of marquee signings just to try and um, smooth over potentially a, a little bit of a rocky start. Well, Benitez currently lies seventh in the list of all-time Premier League wins for managers. He's managed 168 victories across those spells at Liverpool, Chelsea and Newcastle. You won't be surprised to hear that Sir Alex Ferguson comes out on top with 528. I think it's... a. Uh, a wonderful appointment. Um, obviously, with Ancelotti leaving, the, I, I would have questioned where Everton were going to go, given that uh, they obviously have aspirations of being in the top six, challenging and qualifying for Europe. Um, but to get Rafa Benitez, a tried and tested, I say that like he's, he's been around forever, but he's a tried and tested manager, loads of experience, obviously loves Merseyside. Um, and I think it's yeah, it's a statement of intent from Everton, so a very positive move. 